welcome to the party demonstration of detection of harmful chemicals in food and vegetables so here we are going to detect the chemicals with the help of ph sensor and also temperature if the food was damaged or heavy chemicals was there then the temperature of the particular food and vegetables will be uh, above the normal temperature and coming to the ph also generally as we know that the consumed ph value for the any liquids or food items it should be uh, near to 7 so if it is less than 6 or greater than 8 then the system will send the message alert to the predefined store number and coming to the temperature also if the temperature is above 45 degree centigrade so same it will send the message alerts and the continuously we can monitor the ph value and temperature on this lcd so temperature and degree centigrade ph directly 0 to 14 numerical value so all these uh, two input sensors interface to the arduino you know so temperature sensor interface at a0 pin pH sensor interface at A1 pin through this amplifier circuit. So as we know that the molecules fall on this uh, hydrogen molecules fall on this tube will provide the conductivity to these electrodes which are there inside this pH sensor. Based on the conductivity, this amplifier circuit will provide as the analog voltage, so which will represent the pH value directly. So initially we need to connect the 9 volts battery to the pH sensor before on the kit. First step, and the second step we should keep this in. Uh, neutral water nothing but a ph value should be there for mineral water we should place that initially for getting the high accuracy values in faster way and the third step is insert a valid sim card into the gsm motor better to use the uh, bigger sim card with adapter not the micro or nano so insert that in this manner and lock that if you are using the bigger sim card then we should in place inside this so push to back lock and push to forward locking and unlocking one so that particular sm uh, sim card should have the sms balance or main balance and one more main thing is we should place airtel sim card other than the jio so that we will get the sms alerts so my suggestion is to you to use the airtel you can use the idea or any you know uh, like vi right so as we discussed first of all give the power supply to this right Right. So we have inserted that, and next place it this in a neutral water, neutral water, and now on the power supply. So after on the power supply, so there is one more step because we need to hold the GSM modem till get the signal. Right. So now I am giving the power supply to that, and I am holding the Arduino Uno. Right. So this is the reset switch. So there is a light indication on the GSM modem. so it will get the signal indicated by this led now it is slow down so when we on that this particular light will blinks faster and after got the signal it will blinks slow down so now we can release the switch so there are the previous messages which we got so actually it has to stabilized one so we are getting the two water samples this one is a pure mineral water directly and this we are using the bore water here so when we dip that into the bore water as you can see the rise in ph value over here so when the ph value crosses the 9 above or 5 below we said that now and we'll get the sms alerts so let us see when we place that in a lemon juice so right comes down and we'll get the message alerts all right so it's keep on decreasing and when you're uh, when you want to dip that into the back side or so another normal waters plus first of all place that in a bore water It will take more time to stabilize the one. So meanwhile, let us see the temperature sensor also values. So when we play, when we dip the pH sensor in acid water, acid liquid, so it will take more time to stabilize that. For back to normal condition, 
so high temperature alert also we are getting that right so as you can see the ph value is stabilizing slowly based on the concentration of the acid water it will take more time to stabilize So whenever you want to demonstrate the project, you should, must and should keep that in liquid itself. So again, back to the lemon juice.